So I've been posting a lot of shorts lately on our uh, Slam Chrysler 300 project. But if you're a fan of that pro that project and uh, you remember it from our channel, here's the update, guys. Here's why you haven't seen me do more dumb crap, okay? <coughs> so as you all know, um, let me get through here. Well, I mean, I guess most you probably don't know. This is my Slam Chrysler 300. See, it's a it's my shitbox project. All right, I wanted to to do a JDM style shitbox. I love um, the uh, big big uh, what do you call them business sedans? Yeah, the big business sedan culture in Japan. I lived in Japan for a while, and I miss that culture. Okay, now when you come to the U.S., what do you got? You got I don't know the the couple Mercedes that we get and you know uh lexus ls 300s and stuff like that that's about all you get so when you get one they're all the same you're always going to see the same builds it's all going to be the same styling and you kind of get tired of seeing the same exact car so i decided i wanted to find the american version of a big business sedan and uh you know do a whole slam business sedan style what's the word i can't think of vip build that's the word i couldn't think of so i wanted to do a vip build um strictly based off of an american style um car i wanted to take the american business car and make it into a vip build um so i went with the chrysler 300 um specifically the chrysler 300 c in the earlier uh generations i love this car don't get me wrong now when i bought this car I figured there would be some sort of aftermarket options for it, okay? You see people donk them or whatever you want to, words you want to use for some big, uh, less than ideal rims and lifting these things up. You see it all the time, okay? Um, but I never seen one slammed and done in a JDM styling, um, especially a VIP styling. You just don't see it. So I was hoping there would be aftermarket for it, like body kits and, um, things like that. And I just really didn't find it. So... There was one company that made a body kit that I liked. Um, they were sold out and I couldn't get them. There's another company and they just wanted asinine prices with shipping from Japan. So they do get these in Japan every once in a while. And then you get your really nice VIP style builds. For the most part, you couldn't get any parts for it. So what I did is I did a bunch of videos on um, home, a home built car. I, I decided I was going to shit box it. I originally wanted this to be a pristine, nice build. Um, but... When you can't find parts, what are you going to do, right? What you going to do? I don't know. Um, so I decided I was just going to shit box it for now. And then when I found the parts I liked, that I was going to um, go from there. So I went back to the olden days when we made our own parts. So these are some side skirts that I put together with literal rain gutters and, um, and uh, the original side skirts. So if I toss this up here... It's trash now. It's been dug into the dirt. You can see. Yeah, this sits up there. And there's my uh, side skirt. So, I cut the springs on this car. I did rain gutter side skirts. Um, all the paint you see on it's rattle can. Um, both the two-tone roof included all the way around. Um, with a splatter into it. Uh, cut springs again. Big old spacers to get them, the wheels all the way out to a proper fitment. And then to put off um cut it cut vents into it messed up one vent and i said it i'll just make it bigger and throw a big filter out the top so my hood's not latched right now so it, but it would sit a little higher than that there's weeds growing in there let's grab those other so anyways you can see a big old cone filter at the top pvc piping running to that filter nothing special um i did I had people try to tell me that my car wasn't low and that it was only the the side skirts that made it look low and i don't think they understood that like like that's a lot out of a 300c that's stock wheels and everything that's a lot cut out and if i got under this car how much you're gonna see with this lighting oh wait hold on. flashlight uh it scrapes it like it's sitting on the ground um, i had people try to tell me oh your car's really not that low and i'm like uh i i bought them out going into the parking lots bought them out going anyway i mean you can see it right there look it touches that's all I got. Um, and that's with the skirts off. The skirts just made it lower. The skirts literally sat on the ground the whole time. Um, so, yeah, I don't know where why people were so upset that I slammed the 300C. But I got it all the time. I was saying how it wasn't low or that apparently my fitment wasn't tight. Apparently that's not tight fitment. Um, just a lot of haters. 
and I'm talking like when I when I got spacers, I bought spacers for the rear and front separate, so that way I could get the spacer that fit as tight as possible. So apparently, when you physically can't put your finger up in here, like at all, that's not tight fitment. Um, same thing with the front. The only reason the front sits a little higher is because I had to be able to turn. Um, but again, people tell me I don't. I, it's not low, so even my front subframe talking within an inch two inches at all points in time um so yeah you get that going down the road it still has suspension travel so it still bounces i haven't got to the interior yet it's something i plan to do so the interior is pretty uh plain jane automatic car because at this point in time with the early chryslers the early 300 c's um manuals aren't really an option so since i like this body style i'm stuck with what i can get and uh yeah it is what it is so just update on the project um i was driving it around we got to a buddy's house um never had an issue with it we drove it far to show so um, no issues got to a buddy's house we parked outside went in to talk to him and his wife and uh came back out and my car was overheating i don't know if it was a fan that failed i don't know if it's thermostat that failed i don't know all i know is that my car was overheating and uh at the time i said look but it's a uh, Hemi. Can I just park it here and I'll come get it with the race trailer later? He said that wasn't a problem, so that's what we planned to do. And that's what we did. We showed up with the race trailer, we picked it up, and we unloaded it here. Now, the car was too low, so when we unloaded it here, it caused it to absolutely bottom out into the ground. Um, I, just, I just got it to start, so I pulled it forward. But if I come over here, where's the side skirt? I just took this side skirt off to bust it up here. But as you can see, it absolutely bottomed out into the stone um, and just caused a bunch of damage. I couldn't open either door for the entirety of the time that it was sitting in the stone here um, because it was too low. Other projects came up. Um, you know, we were running a full race season last year with our truck. Ended up eighth in the series. I'm happy about that because, you know, ours was truly a budget um, junkyard build with a cheap engine and all that in there people were putting a lot more into it than I was so the car sat here um, essentially till it got engulfed in weeds I have the weeds down now and you can see you know I have all these pressed down as good as you can get them around here so I can actually move around the car um, but if you go back to my shorts and um, watch my early videos you will see that essentially this whole car was surrounded in weeds that look like this. Um, face high, tall weeds. It was all the way around. Um, you can see I'm still in the ground there. But I had to pull all those by hand to make this whole pathway and all the way around the car. Um, the car was sitting back here. So even when I just fired it up, it was weeds on both sides. And I dug a trail there so I could turn, plug in the um, battery charger. But otherwise, the car was completely buried and I could not open the doors to get inside, to get in the trunk, none of that. So what I had to do was essentially dig it out, get under the front with a jack, lift it up, and then dig the uh, side skirts out from underneath of it. That's why they're sitting on the ground here, It's because I had to dig them out. Um, it was a lot of work, and I just had other stuff I'd prefer to be doing. You know, it's hours of work that had to go into something, and I'm like... Yeah, do this or finish building my cafe racer. Do this or start building my boat. Do this or start whatever, you know? So this kept getting put on the back burner, which wasn't a priority, um, especially this over my cafe racer wasn't happening. So my cafe racer is done. So we've, I figured I'd finally start digging for this. So over the last, I don't know, a couple weeks, I've showed videos of me trying to get in here, dig this out. Um, ended up with COVID, so that threw me back like two weeks. Um, I have other health issues from when I was in the military, so COVID kicked my ass. Um, there's no easy way around that. So, finally got it dug out. I just started it up today. I posted a short on how badly it's running. Um, it kept stalling out on me. I don't know if it's the old gas. I don't know if it's the issues that was caused during the engine failure. Um, so, essentially what I have to do now is we have it dug out. I need to get a... Um, scan tool on it so that way I can figure out what's going on with it and then um, from there we can try to figure out how we're gonna drive it out of here with how low it is um, and I don't know with the side skirts off with the side skirts on I've never been able to drive it anywhere but on my driveway 
and um, even on my driveway, it would bottom out and scrape a lot. So we have to go from here, move the race trailer, and the race trailer sits back in here. So my driveway's over there. So I have to go out and across the grass. And I honestly just don't know if it's doable. I don't know if I'm gonna bottom it out and scrape it. I don't know if I'm gonna have to drag it over there. Um, but that's where we're at. So the car's back here and it needs to be up there. And there was a driveway that ran all the way back here into this. Um, but we started building the greenhouse here and so there's wood structures and other stuff through here as we get that built Well, there's weeds there now, but there is structure that goes from here to that one. It's just hard to see So that's where we're at right now um, I have to get apart for the race truck Specifically a, a coil pack that failed just last night and um, we're supposed to be racing right now and uh Went to fire that up and just to make this race, it was a big race, big 75th anniversary race for the series. And um, my coil pack was arcing to the to the body, so that's a fail. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that was the plan. If I was going to race tonight, that would be in this trailer. The trailer would be out of here. The truck in front of it would be out of here. And then I could back the car up and start trying that. But, you know how it is with racing. Failure means just sit there and I'll worry about you later now because that was the one big race I wanted to make it to this year and if I'm not gonna make it to that then uh, we'll figure it out as we go so Yeah So it runs a little bit kind of I need to get a uh, scan tool hooked up to it so I can figure out why it's not running right um, then start to figure out what the issues could be and then essentially Continue my dig continue getting these weeds out of here move the trailer I just moved I had a bobber project sitting uh, right here against the side of the trailer so I just got that moved and then we'll get this out of here and back on the road so I know a lot of people enjoyed the build I know a lot of people enjoyed the content we were posting so that way they could do things like build side skirts themselves for $14 or learn to two-tone their car for you know $40 and all these other things um especially vent hoods or vented hoods vent hoods vented hoods and shit um these are things that back in the thousands when i got into cars um, everybody just did it you couldn't go out and buy body kits like like you can today so it wasn't like oh i'm gonna buy a vented hood for my whatever project unless it was like the biggest mainstream project out there like a miata or you know a civic things like that unless it was one of those you weren't buying like vented hoods and stuff at a reasonable price so we made our own and that's kind of where we're at with this is um my front bumper which is over there is uh you know cut out made to look nice big front lip and stuff like that but you know you, you do all that from scratch and have fun with it and then you you know you and your boys get together and you know they say hey look you did that but it kind of looks like shit you're like yeah it fucking does i'm gonna try it again later and you go buy another stock part and fucking cut it up again but you don't get that anymore. Everybody just cares about buying body kits. And they're what we call Me Too builds, where every build is the exact same because Jim Bob on the internet told you to buy NQ wheels and uh, the same, you know, whatever. Pick a brand body kit for your pick a brand new car. And I don't, we don't like that stuff. You know, you take this to it out, you know, take it out on the street and people love it. Same thing with like my cafe racer take that out and people see like a real cafe racer not these crappy things that you can buy from like harley and shit like that now they love it i had you built a chopper a couple years ago and i used to drive around that for years i mean i probably had that thing for eight years and every time somebody's seen it at a show they call it and be like it's a real chopper it's a real built in your garage just cutting shit up and making it fun chopper and they love that stuff um you either get it or you don't Either you either get the joy out of building your own thing or you don't. And I think a lot of car people that got that joy, you know, these young kids got big mouths and we're just not gonna put up with it. So we're gonna go do our own private meet and get some ice cream while y'all cry about how expensive your wheels are that you scratched against the curb. And I'm gonna run these till they die and blow up and say whatever and buy a new stock set. So uh, but get out there, build cool things, guys. It's a little bit of a rant and a little bit of an update, but get out there and build cool things. And if you don't know, if you don't know, cars are like, supposed to be this expression thing, right? 
none of us got into cars because we had like endless bank accounts we were gonna go spend as much as we could okay so uh do what makes you happy even if that's cutting up your hood and throwing pvc piping into making it take do it get out there build cool things have fun and have a nice day